Bills hosting the Jaguars, and the Bills are five-point favorites. The over-under is 45 points. The Jaguars are plus 195 on the money line, and the Bills are minus 238. Now, these are the pre-kickoff lines. They're going to change the closer we get to Sunday night football. It'll be, or is this Monday night? Forgive me, Monday night football. There's two Monday night games this week. It's supposed to be 64 degrees with 25% chance of rains and five mile an hour winds. Now, head to head, the Jaguars are six and four. The Jaguars are on a two game winning streak. The home team is seven and three. The underdog has covered the last six games that they've played against each other. The underdog is eight and two against the spread. The underdog has won the last three games they've played against each other outright. The favorite is five and five on the money line. The under is hitting that last two. The over is six and four. And the over at 45 is five, three, and two. Now, I have seen it at 45 and a half. And if you happen to get it at 45 and a half, the two games that hit 45 obviously now go under. And then the over under is five and five. The Jaguars are 0 and 2, 37 points, 31 points, uh, 17 points and a loss, 13 points and a loss. For the Bills, they're 2 and 0. There was a total of 62 points and 41 points. 34 points in a win, 31 points in a win. Now, everyone's going to say that this should be one of those games that the Bills just pretty much go in and wipe the floor with the Jaguars. But for whatever the reason is, recently, the Jaguars have been that team that has just been a thorn in the Bills' side, sort of like how the Dolphins can't beat the Bills. I don't know what the hell it is, what they put in the water before they play these games, but... There's value in taking the Jaguars in this one. And if I lose, so be it. However, the Jaguars have played the Bills very well. So I'm going to go Jaguars with the money line. Jaguars getting the points. And I will go under because seemingly there are lower scoring games. And Josh Allen has been doing what he's been doing. He hasn't been turning the ball over. And he's due for one of those games where he does it. And it's probably going to be against a team that you don't expect him to do it in. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.